have a good day. So today I will be discussing to you and by your English theory, the dual coding theory. So first of all, who is Alan Pajio? Alan Pajio, or Alan Orho Pajio, is a native of Canadian, or he was born in Ontario, Canada. So, he is an emeritus professor of psychology at the University of Western Ontario. Then, he acquired his doctorate degree or his uh, doctor's degree at the McGill University in 1956. And he taught at the University of Western Ontario from 1963 to his uh, retirement. So he stayed there from 1963 until he retired. So he has published approximately uh, around 200 articles and he is he's, uh, mostly known for his theory, the dual coding. So he is also an advocate of imagery code creation. So first, the, what is dual coding theory? So basically, it is a theory of cognition. It explains uh, an as aspect of cognition <coughs> to an individual. So, it was hypothesized and developed by Alan Baidio and a partner at the University of Western Ontario in 1986. So some references says it was 1971, but it was actually finalized in 1986. So the dual coding theory states that human recall and recognition are enhanced when nonverbal and verbal information are accompanied with each other. So, so basically it says that uh, they come along with each other. They always come with, um, beside, beside each other. So it means that no one is left. So when the when the uh, Nonverbal information comes, the verbal information should also come. So whenever the one is uh, absent or is not present, the uh, recall of information is weakened by the absence of the other. So it is mostly used uh, during the uh, the younger uh, grade school years. So most probably it would be um, grade one to grade six. Or I'm sorry, um, grade four, or something like that. So the dual coding theory actually suggests two um, cognitive subsystems. First, first is the verbal processing. So it focuses on the language or the audio part of the information. So this is where logogens comes from, which we'll be, be discussing later.
Then the other one is the nonverbal processing. So it focuses on the representations of nonverbal um, events. So it mainly focuses on the mental picture of the verbal uh, stimuli. <laughs> So, dual coding theory also tells us that there are two types of representational units or this is how Pyvio uh, postulated these uh, units. First is the image, as we have said uh, earlier. Uh, images are found in the Nonverbal processing of the uh, representational or the nonverbal representation of the cognitive subsystems. So The next representational unit is the logogen. As we have said earlier, it is for verbal entities, um, which is similar to uh, Miller's chunks, which was reported by the other uh, reporter. So again, imogen for the nonverbal and logogen for the verbal present processing. So, dual coding theory also suggests that there are three steps of processing. So first is the representational, which is direct activation of verbal or nonverbal representation. So, it basically comes from the uh, visual and verbal stimuli. The next is the referential, it is the activation of verbal system by the nonverbal system or vice versa so when we say that so when we say that um, when we tell a child that this is a handkerchief basically he, he or she would remember anything that something looks like this is a handkerchief because it is what we have um, embedded or imparted to the to the child he has a visual and verbal information about this object then associative processing this, this is where the activation of representations within the same verbal or nonverbal system. So basically this is where they are or where they become as one, well, the verbal and the nonverbal information. Writing material, 
anything that is associated or affiliated or something looks like this will actually considered as a writing material or a notebook by the child. Since they have an image or visuals um, representation of the object and at the same time they have the verbal or the audio representation of the object. So another example, we say that this is uh, a whiteboard marker. Basically, the child will determine easily that this is a whiteboard marker because Because first, we have said that um, whiteboard markers are writing materials for whiteboards. So, those are the basics of the dual coding theory. So, that's all for this report and have a good day.